Good morning, good morning, good morning. Came on live stream today because I'm still in the bed. So I wasn't about to get up and make up the bed to go live in the bedroom. I didn't feel like going in there setting up no camera in another room. So I'm on live stream this morning. It's all good. Good morning, Miss Ruck. I see you the first one in the room this morning. And thank you for all of the roses. I appreciate you. I give them a few minutes to come in. Because we're going to talk about the brain this morning. I think most of us have been through some type of science class, high school, college, somewhere. And we know this, but we're at an age where a lot of things we knew, we've forgotten because so much has come around for us to have to deal with in our life. So let me speak to the people coming in and then we're going to get off into this. I don't know how far we're going to get this morning, but my channel is not uh, just humor and drama. It's also inspiration, which I give to y'all at least once a week from my church. It's motivation, which I try to motivate motivate people every live to do better in my Ross voice but it's also about education having been in the classroom before if I had y'all in a virtual classroom like I do this morning your seats would be in a circle I never liked people sitting behind each other in a row I always wanted my classroom to be able to see everybody in the room. So my classroom, my desk was in the middle and everybody surrounded me. We could all talk to each other. We could all see each other. We could all help each other when you're in a circle. It's very hard to do to turn around and, and talk to somebody from the front of the classroom to the back of the classroom. Y'all following me? Okay, before we get started, I need to do a shout out. I saw a content of new content creator this morning and I watched her and I really like her commentary. I saw some of y'all over there and the latest name is Kiss the Ring. She's a new content creator out here and I subscribed to her channel this morning. I also saw you, Miss Rucker. You're already there. Miss Blackhouse. You're there. Uh, River Ran is over there. My little comedian Carla is there. Kill Love is already over there. Up is there. And Terry Burton MacArthur. These are all people who have come in and subscribed to my channel and watched me and like the content. So please go over and um, take a look at Kiss the Ring. And see how you like her content. And if you like it, subscribe to her. She's a new content creator. She doesn't have very many videos. I think she has like about 265 subscribers. I've been there. I know how it feels to just be coming out here. Uh, trying to feel your way through everything. So help a sister out. Let's see who's all in the house this morning. Y'all came on up in here. Uh, in the know with glow. Thank you for the roses this morning. I got a moderator, so I'm good to go. Good morning, Fanny. How you doing? Thankful for life. Good morning, ATV and chat. Good morning to you. Thankful for life. Thank you always for the hearts and the roses. Doki came in with a barrel of roses and hearts, and I appreciate you. Miss Wanda the Younger is in the building this morning. Miss Renee Sharp is here. And I appreciate you also. I appreciate all my sugar wiggers and my beautiful butterflies. My beautiful. Notice my butterflies are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they sure are. Miss G, hearts and roses to you also, Miss G. Um, moving on down. Catherine lives in peace, but never in pieces. Good morning and thank you for the roses. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Miss Patricia is in the house this morning and she says, good morning, beautiful Miss V. Martin chat. I ring that doorbell. I love you all and we love you too. Ain't nothing but love over here. We full of love over here. We talked about love 
probably in the fourth video. And I think we have exemplified the love that we have for people over here. We don't bother people unless they bother us. We don't follow people who don't show love. We don't do that over here. Um, you should be able to tell in a person's content when they come on from day to day to day if they care about you or if they love you or if they're trying to connect with you. Uh, not necessarily to be a friend, but out here on YouTube just to be in their association because you don't know a person well enough to be calling them a friend of yours, okay? But you can be an associate of theirs until you really get, now if you've been out here rocking with this same person five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years, you know these people. You really do because you you know their personalities, how they come on every day. Same people. Um, Miss Nasha the Cook Poe. Up in the building talking about, hey, ain't he? Hey, back, Missy Poo. God first is in the building this morning. Oh, Lord, we need you. Come on in the house. Uh, Dago Lady, good morning, Miss B and Chat, and good morning to you also. It's a cancer thing. She made it this morning and brought me a heart and a rose. Pierre, we're still praying for you for the loss of your sister, but welcome to chatting with Miss B. Okay? Um, Chucka's wife made it. Woo, I'm glad to see you because I was a little worried about you. I didn't see you all day yesterday, but I'm glad you're in the building this morning. Myra, Nisa Pooh, what's up with you? Thank you for the hearts and the crowns. Fanny's speaking to everybody. and Y'all are speaking to everybody. You know that's what we do over here. We're glad to see each other when we come over here. You know, we we built a community of people and we we good neighbors, okay? Just like State Farm. We we good neighbors over here, okay? Uh Miss Trucker's wife wants everyone to hit that like button on your way in because that's what we do. That's the rule over here. Come on in the house once you hit that like bit uh button. Ring that doorbell. Miss Amelia, quick. She up in here with the roses, and I appreciate you, sweetie. I do, I do. Moving on down, retired teacher came over and said she wanted to tell me good morning and to the chat. I'm driving, but I'm here, and I appreciate you. Watch where you're going. Just listen, okay? Don't try to look. I'm not on there this morning. I'm on live stream, so I ain't nothing to look at no way, okay? But I appreciate you for listening. Mm-hmm. Very grateful person. I ain't an ungrateful person, not an ungrateful bone in me. Nah, nah, uh-uh. Just treat me like I treat you, and that life is good. Uh huh. Miss Susan made it. Good morning, Miss V. Mods and Chat. Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday to all. Mm -hmm. Another gloomy day here in the city, but uh, it's all good. Another gloomy day in my part of the city. You know, Houston is very big. Uh huh. Yeah, but in my part of the city, ain't no sun shining again today. So I'm going on. With, with it, however it comes, you know, it ain't my day. I didn't make it. I'm just glad to be in it. Okay, let's see. We're going on down. Oh, Miss Chocolate 47 say good morning, A.T. And chat, I must admit, I've grown fond of a lot of folks on here, even though we don't know either. I think you're saying each other, but you're right. Nobody is really friends on here. It's just all about respect. Woo! Ooh, I couldn't have put it no better, Miss Chocolate 47. Thank you for reiterating on what I just said. You got it. Mm -hmm. I'm good, Miss V. I've been getting used to my new fur baby. She's been wearing me out. Oh, what you got, girl or boy? What 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 type of fur baby you got? Huh? What what's the fur baby's name? We got a new fur baby in the community, y'all. We this is our first fur, fur baby that. I know of, okay, others may have one, but y'all haven't told me. So we got a fur baby this morning. Love it, love it. Uh, Tasha Banks is in the building. She brought me some, what's them things there, Tasha? I look like flowers, but y'all know I don't see well through cataracts. But anyway, but whatever you brought me, I appreciate it. Okay, Tasha, come on in the building and let's talk this morning. Who else is up in here? Then we're going to get started. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Miss Chocolate said, I rang that bell and kicked off my shoes. I helped myself to a cup of apple juice. You get whatever you want. It's up in there. Like I said, my kitchen is set up just like most kitchens. You know where to find it. Okay? If you don't ask me, I'm right here. But you're welcome to it. Anything I got is, is I bought on borrowed money from the Lord. Okay? It's his. You can have it. Because I'm going to leave it and, and it's all going to be for somebody anyway. Uh-huh. I'm a realist. Uh huh. We come here for a little while and then we go. Okay. I don't know where the stuff going when I leave here and personally don't care. I just why I'm trying to use it all while I'm here. And that way I haven't wasted my money. Okay. Or give it to somebody while I'm here. The ones I want to have it. You see how I'm going with this? Uh huh. Rita, Rita done made it up in here this morning. Good morning to you, Rita. Thank you for the roses. Hearts, baby. I appreciate everything. Okay. We moving on down the, the road this morning. We out here on YouTube Road chatting with Miss V. Hey, 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 Doki is saying, telling everybody, hey, y'all speaking to everybody. That's what you do. I'm mad at you. That's what I want you to do. Get to know the folks over here. We good people. Oh, look at my niece at Pooh. Miss Jules made it over this morning. Good morning, Jewel. You got to stay through this. We're going to talk about that brain this morning. Uh-huh. Then you might have a better understanding of why people come out here, say what they say, do what they do, because, you know, some things might have got disconnected along the way. We're going to talk about it. Give me a minute. Good morning. My other niece at Pooh is in the house, working and listening. Keep your job, Shonda. I can't support you no more. I got to support me. I'm by myself now. I got to make my money last. Okay? But I'm glad you're in the house listening. But if you need a little something, something, I got you. Okay? <laughs> uh, woo! All right. Uh, Miss B, it's a bundle of roses. Oh, thank you, Tasha. It's a bundle. I can see I couldn't see it. Thank you, baby. That's what my nieces do to help me until I get these cataracts removed. Hey, Devetta, welcome to chatting with Miss B this morning. Oh, and she said good morning, Miss Vietta, and all the beautiful people. See, that everybody over here is beautiful because we got beautiful hearts. It ain't about how you look in the face. It's your heart with me, Okay. Your heart ain't no good. It, it, it's nasty and dirty and stinking and it, it don't love nobody. Then who could love you? Sting is a new member. Oh, chatted with Miss B. Got a new member this morning. Thank you, Sting. And welcome. Uh, welcome. You know you're welcome. Um, appreciate you. Okay. Um, who else we got up in here? Did we get everybody before we get started? Miss Susan says, good morning, everyone. I haven't spoken. Happy Tuesday. Please ring the doorbell and thank you. She got five bells you can ring, okay? You can ring either one of them bells. She don't care. Just ring it. Just don't walk up in nobody's house and don't ring the doorbell. Don't do that over here. Good morning to Cynthia Green. Oh, she want us to have a blessed Tuesday. She bringing in hearts and roses and crowns. She got it all. She didn't miss nothing. A good morning, stay in my life. We welcome you over here. Good morning, Miss B. Happy Tuesday to you too. Stay in my lane. Uh, Sting say I'm happy to be back. We happy to have you back. Welcome everybody over here. I always say we don't care where you came from. If you're coming over here, you already know what it's all about. A bunch of love, respect, peace, joy, happiness over here. Um It's trying to say these darn folks nuts. Well, we're going we to analyze this brain this morning. I did a little research and a little brain mapping. We're going to get into it. I just want to make sure I didn't miss nobody coming up in the house. Trey Trey is in the building. Uh, Tasha, who is this? Toya Top Notch came on over to this morning with a bundle of roses. See, they told me what that was. Otherwise, it looked like a little ladybug to me. <laughs> But thank you for the bundle of roses, uh, Toya. I appreciate you. And good morning to you too, Kimberly Burns, Miss V, and everyone in the chat. And blessings to you too, Kimberly. And we thank you for bringing in the blessing of roses and, and your laughter and your heart this morning, okay? Well, this is a... a, a educational message, but we're going to get some humor out of it. I promise it wouldn't be me if we didn't get a little humor out of it, okay? Um we're moving on that. Leslie is up in here this morning. Leslie, you know we appreciate you and we love you over here. Keep coming, baby. 
going to learn something over here with Miss V. She's going to drop a gem that's going to help you along the way somewhere. Mick, good morning. I'm not new. I'm renewed, Miss V. I, I know, Sting. I know. I know you're not new, baby. You've been here for, I want to say, day one. Mm -hmm. I'm, if I said that wrong or you misinterpreted what I said, I got you, baby. I know you've been here. You were you moderated for me in emergency purposes one day. All of that, you know. You've been here for a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Miss V, I've known. Wait a minute. Who is this? This is Jules. Miss V, I know control of these people on here. All I have control is me. If I don't like it, I just dismiss myself. You got that right, Jewel. And not only do I dismiss myself, I can go back. <laughs> mm -mm. No, ma'am. I feel you on it, Jewel. You're trying to keep a positive content, a positive channel, and you got to do it your way. Okay, everybody got to find their own niche out here, what attracts the people to their channel, what, what, what they like, what they don't like. And the more videos you drop, you'll see the kind of content they want. Just, just keep it going until you get to that 500, that thousand. And then they'll start telling you what kind of content and uh, where these people are, what channels they are coming from. And I'm amazed that mine are even coming from channels that I don't fool with. At some channels I don't even go to. But that has nothing to do with my content and me. So see how it works? Just keep dropping. You'll find your niche. You'll find your way. And stay the way you are. If you come out here like that, then stay like that. Don't change, okay? That's all my advice I can give to you as a new content creator, okay? Okay, moving on down the line. Moving on, moving on. I think I got, oh, Princess here. Good morning, Miss V. Mars and Chad. Hey, I got a second moderator in the house. Woo, I appreciate you. Is that a third, Fanny? Trucker's wife and Prince. I got three. We got to find Lisa. Lisa might be working this morning, but thank you for the hearts and the roses and the crowns and all and everything you brought in this morning, Prince. I appreciate you. I do. Um, uh, Trucker's wife say, for all coming in, please hit that like. Hit that like. Mm-hmm. Because we'll answer. We sure will. And we'll let you up in here, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you shouldn't want to be up in here if this is not the content for you. It's too many content creators out there you can watch. You don't have to come in here and say nothing. If you don't like it, just like Jewel say, just keep it trucking. You ain't got to come here. It used to not be that many. We used to have maybe five or six. I remember when it wasn't but two or three uh, back in the day. And Trees being the only one in this sector to watch. Hey, them days is over. It's a lot of folks to watch out here now. I just gave you a brand new content creator. Uh, Kiss the ring. I like her content. Uh huh. She makes sense to me. So go over and check her out. Um. I don't need help understanding these people. They need help understanding themselves. Hey, you said it, Jules. You're right, because you don't have to understand them, because you don't have to look at them. You go over there once and you don't like it, and you can keep it moving. Um, and I agree with you. A lot of them don't understand themselves. That's why they come out here and the content doesn't make sense. Um uh, I can't even explain it, okay? But maybe when we get through this brain mapping, it'll make most sense. Um, let's see. Going on down. Auntie Bay, welcome to chatting with Miss V. Good morning to you. Thank you for the heart. I've been seeing you over there on my niece's page, but you came on over to check me out. So hopefully you'll, you'll like the content and you'll keep coming. All right. We're about uh, 20 minutes in speaking to everybody. Miss V, I have good news. I don't have any more bad protein. God is good. The herbs and diet is where. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ain't that good news? Y'all, peace and blessings to you, trucker's wife. Okay, it, it, it's 71 of y'all in the house this morning. So let's talk about this brain. I first want to start with the front of the brain, which is called the frontal lobe. 
that would be your forehead, okay? And then behind the frontal lobe is the parental lobe, right behind your forehead. If you go back about a quarter back from the frontal lobe, you'll find your parental lobe. And then your occipital lobe is right behind your parental lobe. Stay with me now. Don't lose me because I'm going somewhere with this. All right. And then underneath that occipital lobe is your cerebellum. Okay. That's the mushy tissue that's up underneath that. But it controls a lot of stuff in your brain. And we're going to talk about these things. And then you're going to find out where a lot of these people are missing these parts of the brain. They're just not functioning anymore. And then right underneath the frontal lobe and between the frontal and the parental, you have the temporal lobe. And then there's a brain stem. And each one of them have a function. If any one of them is misfiring, you got a problem out here. Okay? And then that's just the way it is. So let's talk about the frontal lobe first. That's that forehead that you can see. Okay? Right up above your eyebrow. That's what we're fixing to talk about right now. That part of the brain is controlling behavior and emotional stability. Mm -hmm. So we can see that some people's frontal lobe is not working because of their behavior and how emotionally upset they can get. And it also is the home of our personality. So relate that to the content creators that are out here. You don't have to name them. Just think about them. Their behavior is bad. They have no control of their emotions. And their personality is split. It's, it's like bipolar personality. Their frontal lobe is destroyed for whatever reason. It could have been from birth. It could have been from drugs. It could have been from a bad accident. It does not matter. If it's not working, it's not working. There is no other part of the brain where lesions can cause such a wide variety of symptoms. Mm. So that's where these personality disorders come in with the frontal lobe. If it's damaged, it can result in you not being able to do a simple movement. So we all clear about the frontal lobe. Are we educating over here this morning? Good morning, Pinky. How you doing? Hey, Kimberly Burns. Come on in. Let's talk about this brain this morning and how it's misfiring out here on these streets. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In real life, it's misfiring. Okay? So we know that is damaged by your display of actions. All right. Okay. Y'all keep thinking about what I'm saying now. So that covers the frontal lobe, that forehead, that personality disorder is coming out of that frontal lobe, your emotional uh, instability to be able to control yourself. It's coming from that frontal lobe, your behavior, frontal lobe. Now I didn't make this up. This is science. This has been around forever. People, scientists have did years and years of research on it. So I can't take credit for this. I can't because I, I, I didn't. I researched what has been already researched. Y you following me? Okay. Good morning, Twyla. How you doing, sweetie? Stay with me here. So we have a left hemisphere and that left hemisphere hemisphere of our brain controls our speech, comprehension, arithmetic, and writing. When a person has a stroke, the left hemisphere of the brain is usually damaged in some way. It could be severe. It could be mild. I mean, it could be to a point where you come back with full control, or it could be to a point where it was damaged so badly, you don't have any more control over your speech your comprehension, your arithmetic, or your writing. 
And we know some people out here also that the left hemisphere of their brain does not work. Their speech is off. Their comprehension is zero. They can't do arithmetic, much less write. It's gone. Okay? So think about these content creators. Hey, Jack Dog, how you feeling this morning? Come on in the building. Let's talk. And then like we have a left hemisphere, we have a right hemisphere. And that controls creativity. Some out here have no creativity whatsoever. They just sit up out here and read what y'all are saying. And that's what they elaborate on. Mm -hmm. The spatial ability is not working. In case you don't know what spatial is, it's relating to or occupying space. That's what spatial is. So that spatial ability is gone. It does not work anymore. They have no artistic and musical skills whatsoever. That's the right hemisphere of the brain. They're not diverse, in other words. If you have no creativity, then you probably a little bit of a plain Jane person. Not saying you're not normal, but you're plain, okay? You come out here every day, you do the same thing. No creativity whatsoever. You don't ever show anybody your musical talents. You can't draw. You can't, um, you can't do things outside of the box, in other words. You, you just uh, everyday average Joe Blow, okay? Also, you have heard the term that a spatial distribution of the population they're talking about how many people are in that population. That's all. So you've heard it before. You've heard everything I'm talking about before. But like I say, we've gone through so much by the time we get to be this age, we've forgotten it all. But I just wanted to remind you this morning that the brain is a big part of the problem on these streets because the brain controls everything. Once you get dementia, Alzheimer's or whatever, and the brain starts to deteriorate, notice you don't have control over your body. You, you, it doesn't tell you when to breathe. The brain is very, very, very important. It tells your heart when to beat. It tells it, your brain tells you everything. So when it's gone or it's not firing properly, there is a problem, okay? We have three basic components of the brain. The forehead, which is called the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. The hindbrain is in the back, of course. The forebrain is in the front. And what's in the middle is the midbrain. It's self-explanatory. But what do they do? Let's talk about it. OK, the hind brain contains the upper part of the spinal cord. Oh, so the hind brain connects to the spinal cord. So if the spinal cord is damaged, then that hind brain could possibly get damaged also and vice versa. You need them both. The brain stem is that hind brain. And it's that wrinkled ball of tissue called the cerebellum. And we, I told you the cerebellum was right underneath the occipital lobe. We're going to find out how important the cerebellum is. So now you know how important the hind brain is because it's connecting to your spinal cord. And if you break your back, you break your spinal cord, you know what kind of trouble you're going to be in. You start losing disc in your back, your L4, your L5. I don't have a, a complete L4 and L5 disc in my back. I told you I was injured at work, fell off of a, a rail car and hit the track. And I have an L4 and L5, but they shrunk it to keep it from hitting the nerve causing me pain. So it's there. You can see it, but it's much smaller than the rest of them. And the surgery worked. That, was, that surgery was in 1984. I've never had any other problems from it. 
but I refused to have them to go in there and cut them out. And that was the best decision I could have made. Very, very new uh, injections. They told me they had just got the procedure from Europe. And I was one of the first at Southwest Memorial Hospital to have that surgery. I've taken chances in life. I prayed about it and I went with it. It worked. Okay, we're moving on. The hind brain also controls the body's vital functions, such as respiration and heartbeat. So it's that part of the brain that's in the back of your head connected to your spinal cord that also controls your respiration and your heart rate. See, now that part, I don't know if I ever knew that before. So that, that part of the brain, if it's injured, then you're going to have some problems with your heart rate and your respiration. We have to have respiration in order to get rid of waste through sweating. As toxins, you're sweating out of your body. Everything has a purpose or you wouldn't have it. Okay. Some things you can take away from your body and you can still live, but you may have symptoms of it being gone or missing. The gallbladder is one. You can take it away. You can live without it, but you're going to have some symptoms of maybe having to go to the bathroom a little quicker, or maybe you got to change your diet. Okay. Because you don't have a gallbladder anymore. So we know this stuff, but we forget it. So I thought I'd take a little time out this morning and bring you back to something you already know, but then you being able to relate it to some people out here, how they're acting and why they act the way they do. Now, you know, it's the frontal lobe. You know what the hind brain uh, does. Uh, I see a lot of y'all went missing and that's okay because you're not about being educated. You want me to do drama every day. I, I told you, you won't get drama every day. Now, maybe the next live, it might be something funny. I ain't watched no YouTube uh, to be coming out here telling you nothing funny about nothing. This morning, I'm doing education, okay? So if it ain't for you, you're doing the right thing. Kind of dismiss yourself. It'll be all right, okay? Um, the frontal lobe, back at the forehead, is your problem solving. People who can't solve problems, their frontal load is damaged. It's gone. Okay? The parental lobe, we talked about it, right behind the frontal lobe, is responsible for managing sensation and handwriting and body position. That is also damaged in a stroke. People's sensations go away. Their handwritings go away. Their body positions uh, are different. They drag their foot or their arm or whatever until they can get through enough therapy to try to get it back in motion like it used to be. Sometimes they do, depending on the severity. Sometimes it never, but they still able to do movement. So they have partial control of the parental load. Then we're going to talk about the occipital. That is right behind the parental. In your head, all of these things sit. I, I suggest you Google it and just take a look at what we were talking about and you'll see where they're placed. And when they are damaged by whatever means, you'll know why these people cannot control themselves anymore. The occipital lobe contains the brain's visual processing system. So my occipital lobe has been damaged through age. I have floaters. I have cataracts, something I've never had before. Okay. It happens as you age. Some things are just going to happen just because. Okay. It's like a thin film that's covering uh, the, the sight now. And it has to be removed. So when I go back, I'll find out when he's going to remove them. I have friends who've had cataracts removed a few days. It was just like the best thing that ever happened. Am I afraid? No. I want them gone. I'm tired of sighting, trying to see. Okay? 
So let me get into my chat because I don't want to lose y'all and see if y'all have made any comments pertaining to what I'm saying. Um, Pinky, my handwriting is off the chain, Dr. Styles, since a kid. Um, a lot of people who are very, very intelligent, they're used to taking notes and they can read it because there's a lot of notes to take in the medical field. It, it, it's not easy. And they, their penmanship may have not been that good before they went into the medical field. So a lot of times, even the pharmacist will have to call the doctor and ask them because a lot of your medications can be very closely related in spelling. So in order to give you the right product, they the pharmacist has to make sure that is what you were prescribing for them. Okay? So it's okay, Pinky. Um, Myra says, ain't the I'm enjoying it. Okay, very good, Myra. Miss Rucker, I'm at work still listening in. Very good information. Thank you, Miss Rucker. Okay. Sweet and Sass is up in the house. I didn't speak to you. Good morning. Uh, Miss Catherine says, I have a friend that had a brain bleed. They had to remove pieces of it. Thank God she's getting better and better, but I can see and hear a difference. Yes, it's like I said before, once the brain is kind of frayed, I'll use that word to describe it like an iron cord then you can repair it or you can fix it, but there's no guarantee that it'll ever be like God created it to be, okay? And then you have some kids that come here, bless their hearts, that they have uh, brain dysfunctions from birth. And you have to be able to learn to relate to them in their own language as far as their mental capacity can take you. And if you're around them enough, you can do it. But if you just sit there and say, oh, they crazy, they this, they that, nobody's crazy. Okay, coming here from birth, they may have some disorders, but that doesn't mean they're crazy. They're baby. How can they be crazy? You, know, you get crazy after you come here. Okay. All right. And that's my opinion of it. But I appreciate your comment, uh, Catherine. Let's see, I'm going on down. Jam Jam is in the building. Good morning to you too, Jam Jam. Okay. Uh, the Real Spills with Jules Pearl says, said louder, Miss B, loving the education this morning. You're welcome. Like I said, I can't do drama every day now. I'd be lying to y'all if I came out here and I said, that this channel is about education, inspiration, motivation, and a little humor, okay? I I'm going to give you a little humor, but I can't give it to you every day, every time I come in. Sometimes we got to educate people where they can see the these streets. This is where we're living out here on these YouTube streets every day. So if you understand how the brain works, it might help you understand why these people are the way they are. Something is backfiring or misfiring out here in their brain. And it's best you can't talk to these people. You just got to get away from them. If you keep giving a person a message over and over and they don't adhere to it, something is misfiring in their brain. Period. Okay. Good morning, Odie. Odie, you know we had this stuff in high school, girl. We probably forgot it. I had to go research it. But welcome home, girl. Thank you for the hearts. Um, Pinky said the brain is the gray matter. Yes, that's that cerebellum down there, Pinky, that, that gray tissue up underneath there. We're going to talk about it. Um, now you just decided Lala and Callie and Dodo. Well, I think you did. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. They got some issues. Something is backfiring. Something is misfiring. You can hear it in the conversation. You don't have to be personal and up close. Not to see how the brain is working. Listen. That's all you got to do. Right, Rita Rita? That's it. Uh, Miss B, I taught marijuana drops 
are good for cataracts. How? Oh, oh I, no, Miss B, I, if you're saying taught or thought, marijuana drops are good for cataracts. I don't know. You need me to try it? I, I've, I've had the gummies and the cookies and all of that. And uh, of course, I'm a 70s flower child, so I've tried it, but I didn't know about the cataracts, uh, Miss uh, Trucker's wife. But if it works and I don't have to get them cut on, I sure will go get some. <laughs> I ain't too proud to be. <laughs> you know it. Come on now. Uh, Pinky say true. Flower 61. Good morning and welcome over here. Talking about the brain this morning, Flower 61. Lisa Hill, good morning to you also, sweetie. Um, uh, my handwriting sucks too, but understood. It may not be that your handwriting uh, or that part of the brain that controls your handwriting has anything to do with your penmanship. It starts down in kindergarten and first grade, your penmanship doesn't mean that something is wrong with you because your handwriting is bad. People who used to write bad but can't write at all anymore, that's the part of the brain that has misfired. Don't get it twisted. Stay with me, okay? Mm -hmm. I've always had a pretty good penmanship because my mom was a teacher and you had to start off making those, you know, from line to line. Yo, when you were doing just uh, writing, if I wrote an A, the apex, the tip of the A had to hit the top line. I couldn't go under the bottom line. That's the era of writing I came from. So everybody pretty much in my era that went to the schools I went to, their penmanship had to be on point. Now, they may have gotten slop and lazy because I've got a little slop and lazy along the way. Sometimes when I sign my signature, I don't want to sign it right. Okay, I'm doing it on purpose so, so nobody can't copy it. Okay, uh-huh. So let's keep it moving here. Kimberly Burns, you're absolutely right. I'm going through something in my right hand and I have a arthritis in my left hand. I stay prayed up. That's something else that comes along with old age. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be old to get arthritis. If you keep injuring stuff like these uh, people who are physically into sports and stuff, it, it can set in sooner. That's damage to those tissues and bones and stuff and like the cartilage in my knees are gone i've warmed out in 69 years thank god i have not had any problems since i went to the doctor but i got to go back to him on thursday but uh he ain't finna inject me because it ain't hurting okay i guess i prayed about it i took the trauma doll and i'm i'm blessed to say that they hadn't been hurting i've been out walking doing everything i wanted to do now after I went to him the first time with the right knee, then the left knee started hurting. I said, oh, Lord, take the pain away from the left one, too. You, you know, a lot of times you got to call on him with this because all these chemicals you're putting in your system. I don't know what trauma does. I just know it makes you feel good and it makes you go to sleep. OK, that's it. That's all. The side effects, you know you're going to have some. Any chemical that's not natural you put in your body got a side effect. If you watch TV, you hear it on the commercials all the time. If you've taken this medication, we ain't nothing but guinea pigs. That's it. And then you need to call attorney such and such. I ain't finna fool with all that stuff. I take it when I need it. Uh, trucker's wife say, the real spill tea with Jewel, you're a good baby. Okay. All right. Um, Bama's in the house this morning. And she's speaking. I'm getting on down. Mm-hmm. She's speaking to everybody. Y'all still speaking. Uh, Bama say that sums that uh, babies get crazy when they get here. Yeah. I'm a baby come here crazy. Uh-uh. They come here doing just like every other baby. They they sucking on a ball, sucking on a pacifier, sucking on your, your breast. Uh, if you breastfeeding them, they cry when something is wrong. If they wet or they unhappy, they let you know. Uh, they smile and they they laugh when they want to. 
if they in their minds they see something that's funny or whatever, they choose to let you know that they love you. They smile. Uh huh. That's what babies do. They don't do too much. They move their arms. They move their legs. They learn to flip over. They learn to crawl. They learn to walk. Okay. No two children do it at the same time. I hate it when people were comparing babies. Oh, my baby started walking at this. Okay. So long as he walk, no matter when he start, some lazy, some don't want to get up and walk. They want you to pack them. Okay. And some eat more than others. Some greedy, some not. Okay. Babies are different. That's why they don't come home with no book, how to raise them. They give you the basics. Uh-huh. But each child is different. And anybody out here who has more than one child will tell you that. Ain't no two children. I don't care if they twins. They still gonna have some differences. Mm-hmm. Sure will. Um, Miss Jack Dog says it's draining every day. Yes, it is. You can't do that every day. You know, you out here on a cruise ship, you're supposed to be relaxing. You're supposed to be uh, enjoying yourself and, and getting yourself. You go to different stuff on the cruise ship. You, you might go do art one day. You might go up to the top and go swimming. And you might go to a show at night. You, you don't just do the same thing on a cruise ship every day. That's very draining. Hey, Nisi Poo is in the house. What's up, Lucinda? Good morning, Miss V. Good morning to everybody in the chat. Uh, oh, Lord, face red heart. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I can't with you this morning, Lucinda. We're talking about the brain this morning. You ain't finna get me off the topic this morning. We're going to talk about the face red heart, shake face red heart tonight, okay? And we're going to have some fun tonight. But this morning, we have some serious stuff this morning about this brain here. And Jules Pearl says she's agreeing with me. Um, Lucinda says, I love this. Thank you, Lucinda. Knowledge is power. You better know it. You don't get nowhere in life if you if your knowledge doesn't supersede everything else going on. You're not going to make sound decisions. You're not going to make good decisions. Uh, you're going to be running from pillar to post making a uh, 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 your priorities are not in perspective, okay? What's really more important to you? A dog or a house? The dog got to live somewhere too. Let's say you're going to put him outside in the backyard. But you might as well turn him loose if you're going to do that. If he ain't got no house to go into and it's raining outside, why you brought that dog? Huh? I'm just saying. Get your priorities in perspective. I'm not talking to my sugar wiggles. My, my sugar wiggles over here got their priorities in perspective. But there's a lot of people out here on these streets ain't got their priorities in, in perspective. You know, back in the day, nobody had a garage to put their car in. So where did they put it? Up in the front yard by the front door. I guess that way they could hear it when it started up if somebody was doing something to it. I don't know. People have learned better not to protect their cars by putting them in a garage. It keeps your paint from getting all that stuff in it, especially if you live on the Gulf Coast with all this old salty water we got down here. Uh-huh. Yeah, living up in Baltimore where they put all that salt on the road for the snow and stuff, your car rusts out quick. Okay, you need to preserve it. Put some wax on it. Try to protect the paint. All right. Pinky is saying, you are well read, Miss V. Also full of life experience. You are one of a few, a diamond in the rough. The skull protects the brain and every head is unique. Every head is unique. Ain't made not one of us the same. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly Burns said, hey, man, a man, a man. Uh, trucker's wife, Miss V, try the drops. Okay. Where I get them from? Trucker's wife? I don't know. How to... Okay. Um, the Real Spill Tea by Jewel. I works, Miss V. Yes, indeed. I love it, Jewel. You got to work. If you're going to have some, if you weren't blessed with parents who were millionaires, so you came here a millionaire, and if you notice, I can take you back in the day when I was living with white families who were millionaires back in the day. I told you about the two white families, the Senator Adcock and the Judge Futica, who I babysit for. And I eventually start staying in their houses and stuff. OK, these people 
when I take you to Monroe, I'm going to take you by the houses that I used to live in. And you'll see the houses backed up to the Washita River. You'll see that these people had boats that nobody else had boats like that. But the people who lived over on Point Drive, Odie in here, she know what I'm talking about. Uh, they had maids. Miss Creasy was in the kitchen over at the Adcox, okay? In her maid outfit, they would walk to the corner and catch the bus and go back to the south side of town where they lived. They had maids, butlers. They had the butler clean the pool and all that stuff. They actually opened my eyes to how people really lived, that everybody didn't live like we live because they had things, they had money. They went to Europe just to go shopping, okay? Didn't mean that kids turned out no better than anybody else's kids. No, but one thing I did see is they made their kids either go to school or go to work in a business and they set them up where they could make it. And then they were done. We pamper our children to death. Oh, my child got to have this. Oh, my child has to shop here. Okay. I made that mistake because I didn't have, I wanted my child to have, okay, what I didn't have. Mistake. I didn't have a car in college until my second year and it was a used car. Okay. So yeah, I go out and I buy her a brand new uh, Honda, a brand new Azuzu. That was a mistake. She never worked mistake so she got out of college so she didn't know the value of money she didn't know how hard it was to keep her with all these things she was trying to have mm -hmm. she know now though because i cut her off at 25 you're done i'm through okay i educated you and i help you through your master's program paying car notes helping you with your children you got a husband you got children now you got to go i can't do it no more OK, I'm not going to do it anymore. Done. At some point, you got to let them pull their own little red wagon. Period. OK. A trucker's wife, you put the drops in your eyes or what? Yeah, talk about that because you're telling me to go get them. Uh, it works, Miss B. Try it. OK, Jules, y'all got to tell me where to go get it. Good morning, Sandra Strong. Loving the commentary. My sister had a stroke in November 2019. She can't walk or talk or feed herself, but she understands everything you say. This information is helping me understand much better. Yes, because now you understand which part of the brain was uh, kind of messed up in the stroke. Thank you, Sandra. I'm glad. Um, Miss J in dogs, my mom used to have cataracts and glaucoma and marijuana drops helped. Okay, but where I get them from? Do I order them? I got to know now. I'm trying to get on down there to find out. Uh, let's see what Bama's saying. Well, that part of it gone. They don't teach cursive in school no more. And I, that's a mistake. Because how in the world are you supposed to sign your signature in cursive if you can't write cursive. Yo, look, on all business papers, when you're making a loan or anything else, they're going to say print your name and sign your name. Signing your name is not printing it. It is cursive writing. These people are lost out here that's teaching our children. Teach them at home, okay, how to sign their name. If they can't do cursive and nothing else, to teach them how to sign their name in cursive. Because printing is not. That's for people back in the day who couldn't write. They put an X there and somebody else signed their name for them. We done come too far to go backwards, y'all. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't go backwards. Go forward. Okay? Uh, they don't even teach kids how to write in script anymore. I have to teach my daughter myself. Do it, uh, Miss Chocolate 47, because she's competing against the world now. We are global market. We are not competing against the neighborhood school or the state one over. We're global society now. We're competing against the world. When you enter college, everybody from around the world could be there, okay? And when you're competing against your Orientals, you already know people are very smart. Okay. They don't come here 
and know everything about the United States when they get here. But look at when they came here after the Vietnam War, how they how successful they are. We've been here all the time. Mm hmm. Yeah, they got a little government assistance, but they did something with it. Uh, uh, ain't people out there getting government assistance now with these PPPs and CPNs and whatever else they doing out here? But what are they doing with it? Huh? These people got a whole street down there, uh, a whole little community called Harwin in Houston. OK, every city got a little community. They got street signs named in different uh, languages here. OK, that's how global we are in this area. But you want to go and you want to get the money. You want to go do your body. You want to go get the money. You want to buy the, the biggest car so you can run down the street and look good. But you're living in the back of it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. You want to go buy you some clothes so you can look good. Okay. But really, you ain't got a dime in your pocket. See, that's how we messed up as a black race. Our priorities are screwed up. Truly screwed up. Mm-hmm. You're not trying to buy you no house, which is money in the bank because the longer you live there the more your house appreciates in value so you always got money when you got a house and land always you ain't got no money when you're renting because it ain't yours you paying somebody else to get richer now everybody can't buy okay so i ain't talking to everybody i'm talking to those who out here doing foolish stuff with the money and then you wonder how somebody else got there and you couldn't because your priorities was messed up that's it maybe you can't buy a house but maybe you could have went up there and socked a couple of hundred dollars into fidelity investment fund or ag edwards okay uh-huh and let your money grow and build and get in a safe uh, uh place with them if you don't know nothing about stocks don't go get no stocks get into something safe money market okay uh Find what works for you. Bonds. It might take them a while to build growth, but isn't that a long-term investment anyway? And it's safe. Uh-huh. And then if you know anything about stocks, and then you find you one, that, but you got to do some research on them. How long have they been established? What have they been doing over the years? Uh-huh. When did they split? Well, you make your money on your splits in the stock. Uh-huh. That's, that, that's when you make your money. When a stock, you buy it low, you sell it high. If you sell it and the stock split, you getting two for one or three for one, that's two times the money you got or three times the money you got. That's how you make money. But don't jump into nothing you don't know nothing about. You, you educate yourself on it first, okay? Uh, Miss J and dogs, yes, they go in eye when you go to the eye doctor and they give you drops. Look it up. They are drops. It is okay. So I have to get this from the doctor. Is that what y'all telling me? Uh, writing my signature is different from everybody else. Your signature is what you want it to be. And this day and time, you might want to make three circles and do it in a cursive loop. Anything. Now, these folks out here is dangerous these days, stealing your identity and your signature and everything else. So learn how to write it professionally. But when you doing it out here, like on them credit cards and things, when you go in there, baby, I sometimes I don't know what I'm writing. They take it. <laughs> it don't matter. Um, come on, Miss V, 69 years of blessing. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, where am I? They gave me them after surgery, Miss V. It does help with the pain. Uh, the eye drops, the, the marijuana eye drops. Okay, now I'm going to ask him about it, okay? Uh, Miss J and Dobbs, ask your eye doctor. They will tell you what's in the drops. Okay, okay, okay. I go back to him, I think, next month. Um, I had a stroke on my brain on the right side, but it affected the left side. That's what it does. My daddy passed many, many strokes, okay? And the little M-I-N-I strokes that you have where he's just sitting there staring. Uh, you knew he was having a little stroke because I... I I talk to the doctors, whatever is going on with the people I'm caring for, I, I need to, you to educate me so I know when this stuff is happening with them. Uh, let me see, where am I? Vision and my memory think I had a full recovery when the doctors doubted I would, I would. 
uh, was blind. I have a powerful testimony. Oh, yes, you do. If you un underwent all of that and came through, it's very powerful. I appreciate you coming over here and being in this chat this morning. That here's a person that has gone through the stroke. Okay. I love it when I got somebody in the chat who's gone through what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, Pinky says, drink mushroom milk. It is good for the brain and go monatomic. I don't know what that is and taken rarely. Okay. Uh, keep are uh, gone around your resting place and read a lot of at least watch engage in TV video instrumental sounds. Yes, music is good for people too who are having brain disorders because for some reason I have noticed we have a couple of people going through this dementia, but they can remember every word of the song, but they can't remember what they did an hour before they came to church. Music seems to be good for people who are losing brain function for whatever reason. I don't know. It may be soothing to them. I don't know. I've never really done the research. I've just observed it. OK, um, it was in 2003. So you're talking 20 years ago, ain't you, babe? You're doing great, baby. Stay with us. OK, I love you. Um, OK, my doctors don't want to prescribe you anything like that in Texas. Oh. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get it. Okay. Who is this? Uh, Jack Stocks. Okay. But I'm an ass. You know, he's a young doctor. Um, he's Oriental. And he was real cool. I mean, we sit there and we talked about it. He brought the book out and he explained it to me, showed me what it looked like, everything. Because, I mean, hey, you got to tell me about this stuff. I don't know. You the doctor. I paid you to talk to me. I don't care about that 15 minutes and all that. You got to see the next person. You, look, I came to the doctor for you to talk to me. You're talking about my eyes now, okay? It ain't like uh, I can go replace them. If, if they gone, they gone, okay? We're not talking about the knee. The knee, we can... We can make it without it, okay? My eyes, I ain't trying to be using no CNI dog at my age. Come on, doctors, work with me. Uh, some babies develop faster than others. Correct. Every baby don't, don't walk, chew gum at the same time. Get off of that foolishness. Take a breath that's in the house. Um, good morning to you, and welcome to chatting with Miss V over here this morning. Miss J and dogs never smoke weed. It's not good to smoke it can cause cancer only boil or eat it in cookies or browners never burn weed okay trucker's wife i thought it was given to cancer patients to help them eat though okay i don't know let's keep it moving okay uh miss wonder younger good morning to you um Uh, trucker's wife say, take a deep breath. Uh, Wanda Younger, good morning. Take a deep breath. Is that a person in the chat? Good morning to you. Take a deep breath. I'm trying to figure this out as I go. I'm a little bit behind here. Sweet and Sassy say, good morning to you. Good morning to you too, Sweet and Sassy. You know you're welcome. Uh, hanging out in the building and Auntie Bay is speaking to you. Um, Y'all coming in still speaking to each other down here i'm trying to catch your comments i'm cruising the galaxy on the planet earth okay pinky that's what we're doing out here on the ship we're just moving from place to place we're in the uh dominican republic y'all seeing that today uh so you gotta google it and check it out because that's where we 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 dock there see where you want to go or if you want to go there okay uh-huh I don't know where we're going to next. We're going to be here for a little while so y'all can really see the island, okay? Mm -hmm. See if y'all saw what I saw. Very poor, but very friendly, very cordial people. Medical facilities, not good at all. Uh, but they surviving off the land. And a lot of those islands, they survive off the land. And they don't, they're not caught up in all of this old American stuff, or Joneses and all that stuff. They think everybody the same, okay? Uh, God is the miracle healer are uh, uh, call 24 hours. On call 24 hours. You got that right, Odie. Hey, I ain't too proud to beg or to call on him. Mm -mm. Uh, Jack's dog said, I don't smoke it. However, I will 
check on the drops because I'm under my oncologist. They okay my blood. Oh, they check my blood every three months. So I'm going to ask about it. Okay, me too, Jack Dogs. Uh huh. I think my right eye is worse than my left eye. It may be a little bit thicker over there on the right eye because it's more blurred than the left eye. I'm really using my left eye, straining it until they actually do this stuff. Um, Pink is speaking to everyone. Miss Catherine said, you're absolutely right, Miss V. I had to check myself on babies being different. Serenity did a lot of five month old Silas is different story I just let him do it on his own terms exactly I mean you can kind of motivate him but don't push him you know whatever he's doing if he's at the stage where he's I don't know how old he is just let's say he's walking grab his hand and let somebody else grab his hand and tell him to step step one foot in front of the other and then He'll pick up on it. He'll pick up on it. If he crawling, um, I used to just take my grandbaby, the first one, and I put him up in the bed on his knees. And he might fall back down, but he learned to scoot first. You got to crawl before you walk. Though. There may be some dyslexia there, okay? Life is in stages. One thing at a time. Get that down first before you move on to something else. That's why you don't push them. Let them learn on their own pace. Some of the slower babies are some of the smarter students when they get to school. And they took their time. Mm -hmm. They got it down. Oh, don't rush no kid. Uh, Miss B, the drops you get from oncologists have marijuana in it. It will say THC. Okay. Gotcha. So when I go back to him, I got it. I'm going to ask him about it. Okay. Thank you, Trucker's wife. I appreciate you. Trucker's wife said, Miss V, I found out when my mom were taking them, it had THC in them. I ain't got no problem with THC, marijuana, nothing. If it work, it work. Okay. And it's legal in so many places and, and the medicinal purposes for using it uh, uh, have panned out to be very strong. It's better than smoking a cigarette. <laughs> That's a fact, Jack. What do cigarettes do? Nothing. Breathing disorders. Uh, cancer. Okay? So they, they don't benefit you at all. You smoke them, and it's legal. All right? Moving on. I wish I was rich, but I'd rather... Wait a minute. Let me see what you're saying. More special abilities. I'd rather have more special abilities. Okay, Pinky. Mm hmm. Uh, Lucinda speaks TB cataracts and glaucoma drops. They have THC in them. It helps with the pressure on the eyes. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. I was a single parent. My children got the things they needed. Exactly. Uh huh. And they probably are much better off children because it made them appreciate and get up and go get the things you want. Okay. Uh-huh. I, I went to Jules. Uh -huh. I should have done that with my own. Uh-huh. But I didn't make that mistake with other folks' children. No. Mm -mm. Them little kids come over here from next door. You're going to earn your keep over here. You ain't finna uh, come over here every time. Uh, can I have some pretzels? You got some popcorn. Uh, uh, you got something to drink. Okay, what you did for me today? Huh? Go sweep up them leaves down there. Go do something. Come back and let me see, and then you can have it, okay? Mm -mm. Y'all ain't finna ride me like that. I've been rode before. I know how it feels. Um, Jewel say you can get them from your eye. Doctor. Okay, AV, great education. They say they tired of the drama. They should take heed to this. Uh huh. Well, I haven't finished it because we haven't gone through all parts of the brains, but I wanted to get to into y'all's conversation too, so we can come back with a part two tonight, and we can keep the day on education. You, we don't have to be over here laughing and, and acting fool all day long. We don't have to do that. Uh, your daughter should be helping you, Miss V. Should you ever need it, that's how I live. Uh, I let people live their own life. There's a lot of people in life that I've helped that have not done anything for me, and I don't look for it because 
God always sends me that ram in the bush when I need one. I don't care if I've helped you. I don't care because I got trust and enough faith the size of a mustard seed to know he going to send me somebody and always has and always will. I can be in this chat and we can be talking about something a little controversial and look who steps in the chat, a pastor. Uh-huh. Didn't uh, little po Ho come over the other day when we were talking about something and I said, oh, look at God that sent me a pastor. Uh -huh. I have several pastors on my channel. That's why I can't come out here and do a lot of stuff that these folks are doing, going back and forth with dumb stuff. Uh -uh, I'm not going to do that. I, I respect them too much. OK, no, come. It's not the channel for you. Staff, I'm over here. OK, if I ain't talking about you. Don't talk about me. If I say something about you, then you got all right to say it. But I'm going to be telling the truth. You just make sure you tell the truth on me. That's it. And that's all. OK. Uh, OK, you got to get a prescription. For, OK, OK. Uh, you right, sis. And most of them down in Monroe was raised by the hold on maid she cooked clean and everything you know it odie uh-huh you you probably remember senator atcock and judge feudal they they were big names in our hometown and my parents sold them vegetables and that's how i got acquainted with them um they would call and they would want 25 uh 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 pints of lady peas and give me 30 quarts of butter beans and stuff. You know, she pre-engaged her orders. This was in the summer when she wasn't teaching school. She made more money in the summer selling vegetables than she did teaching school back then. She's only making like 19,000 a year when I started at Amico. I started off making more money than her, but she loved what she did, teaching the little ones coming in from kindergarten and first grade. She taught them what they needed to keep moving. And they showed up at her film. Three generations of children she had taught. Showed did. Little church couldn't hold all them folks. They came in. They viewed her. And then went back outside and they stayed until we got to the graveyard, which is on the side of the church. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Y'all still talking about the... Uh, uh, Otis said, you... Yes, sis, you are so right. Yeah, you were there, Odie. You know, I know what I'm talking about. I'm glad you're in the chat this morning. A homegirl in the chat can bag me up what I'm saying. Uh, really, can you get the drops if you're not having issues? So we go to, to the doctor. Uh, you and Trucker's wife going to have to talk about that. Lucinda Speaks TV. Yes, doctor will give you the drops. Uh, your oncologist, okay. Our district said, if cursing writing is not on the state test, we don't teach it. Ain't that some nothing? But I bet them white folks teaching their kids how to do it, even if they got to teach them at home. Because they know in the business world, you're going to have to do some cursive writing somewhere along the way. You can't print everything. Okay? No. I think you put the drops under your tongue. You can purchase them from any CBD oil place. Okay, thank you, sweet and sassy. Yes, ma'am. I'm in the medical field. I don't know everything, but I do know enough. Okay, uh, Jules, glad to know that. Uh, I had no idea what you did. It wasn't none of my business, but I'm glad to know you are over here and you are in the medical field. Okay, the parents must step in and touch because the teacher must teach what the district uh, mandates or the teacher will get in trouble. It's not the teacher. It's our districts. Well, um, hmm. I guess if, if any of these people are voted in, then watch who you're voting for. Uh, I don't know what to say in that case, Lucinda. I'm just glad that I came up in the era I came up in and no school board mandated what a teacher taught in her classroom. They had lesson plans. It was uh, checked by the principal of the school and he said yes and once you became a seasoned teacher and you had been there for at least five years he knew you knew what you were doing so no lesson plans were checked but you had to have that lesson plan on the desk every day just in case a member of the school board walked in or just in case the principal came in and he would just walk in and he would look on the edge of your desk 
and he see it maybe flip the page and he wouldn't say a word. He just move on to the next classroom. That's how it was back then. But things have changed so much now. And I don't know if it's necessarily for the better either. I think kids are missing a lot of things that they need in a classroom that's going to trip them up in real life later on. Because everybody from other countries and other states and stuff are not teaching like that. This is in certain areas that it's mandated like this. So I don't know. We'll just have to wait and hope live long enough to see it. I tell everyone get the drops instead of surgery because some people have trouble with vision after the surgery. Oh, Lord. Okay. They stopped cursing when my son got in school and he's 19 now. My husband taught him how to sign his name. Thank God, Myra, because they do know how. They, that's your signature. Cursive writing. Okay. Uh, Pinky say, make money. Money market is good. Yes, it, it's safe. Um, good information, uh, says Miss Wanda. Informative information. Thank you. I don't use, okay, we back to the drops again. Um, every signature is unique. That is why it is a signature. Exactly, Rita. Um, Pinky say, these folks out here are thieves and liars. You can detect it. You can detect who's full of BS and who's not, who's real, who got, who don't, who well, you're looking at it. It's up to you to discern it. OK, if you want to follow it, follow it. OK, I choose not to follow all that craziness. OK, um, the real spill tea by Jewel, I eat the edibles, the smoking, it made a lot of mucus in my lungs. Oh, OK, OK, you're talking about the pills. All right, y'all, we're coming up on an hour and 15 minutes. So let me hit on down here and try to see what else y'all are talking about. Uh, Jewel says it calms her nerves. It does. Uh-huh. Uh, Got to watch them munches, though. Uh, we seven as children. We know all about that, okay? We the flower children. That was our generation, okay? Um, right after the Vietnam War was when the drugs came in real heavy in the, into the United States. And if you're a flower child, you probably experimented with it. You know about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And now it's good for so many things. I, like I say, I don't see nothing wrong with it myself. But you can overindulge in anything. Some people just smoking it just to be smoking it. And they just burning up money. You know, if you don't have it like that, why are you doing it like that? OK, if you smoking it because of your nerves, OK, you know, when your nerves are getting bad, then go smoke it. If you smoking it because of glaucoma or whatever. OK, that's a medical reason. But just out here socializing with it and burning up money, you know, you ain't got then out here the next day begging. Come on now. I ain't nobody finna support your darn habit. That's your habit. OK, it ain't mine. I support my own habits. You support yours. Um, uh, I have the gummies. Um, there's a store when I go to my sister's house that has the gummies and it doesn't have that much THC in it, but it'll calm your nerves down if you off balance and whatever. Uh-huh. Mm, Rita said that kind of drama will not bring a million people speaking on one person. Wait on. No. That's why they're moving so slow. They got there quick, but they stuck. They will never get what that person they're talking about. If it's taking them this long to get 13 or 14, and this person is already well over 100,000 over here, and it took her, uh, what, eight or nine years to get there, and then... The same on Facebook, a million. It took her the same amount of time, seven years to hit that million. They'll never get there. They want to talk about how she got there. Don't matter. She there. However she got there, she is there. Now, how are you going to talk about her and you're not there and you're doing everything in the world to tear her down, but you're still not there. Come on, use that frontal lobe. Uh, you got a personality disorder going on, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah uh, maybe something has been damaged in the hind brain that connects to the spinal cord where you, you can't remember stuff like you used to, okay? But uh, we're going to come back tonight and we're going to finish up with 
the brain because it's, it's an interesting thing to study. And then you can relate it to things you've been through in life. Like I say, some people's brains may have been damaged through car wrecks, strokes, or any other kind of disability. You don't know until people come into your chat and they tell you. But I think it's a very interesting subject. Yeah, it might not get the views that a drama would get. I don't care about that, okay? My check's coming in regardless. YouTube ain't paid me no money. So what do I care, okay? I, I can't get... I, I can't worry about views and likes and all that every day. That's not the purpose for me being out here anyway, okay? If I can't bring you a message that's going to help you, then why do I need to come out here every day with just drama? You got other drama channels you can look at. I, my message can't be the same as theirs every day. We know who to go look for when we want some drama. You know, you've been out here long enough. You studied these people. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to cut it off right here because we've been on here an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you coming over. Thank y'all for the information y'all have shared with me. I hope that my information has been a blessing to you. I will see y'all back uh, for sure at 730 tonight. If anything is interesting, I'll pop up in the middle of the day. If not, y'all be blessed today. Have a great day wherever you are, whatever the weather is. Until then. Miss V, see you later.